Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Trading. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna give like a, some kind of a quick um, demo and kind of like a, summarizing the whole process uh, here. Uh, I'm using um, an app called Sonic Pi, and I also have uh, I also have Blender running um, in the background uh, right here. I already made a setup. Um, basically, I'm using the OSC, the Open Sound Controller to control this uh, Sonic Pi to generate sound um, that's actually dependent on Blender. So this is Sonic Pi version 3.0.1 which is uh, the creator Sam Aaron said this is like a more like an I.O. Uh, input output kind of uh, version and this is uh, available on Mac and Windows and Linux and uh, actually I think it's available on Mac and Raspberry Pi while the Windows version you need to actually uh, uh, download from his uh, Patreon you need to uh, probably like give him some donations and then you can download it but the Mac version is already out there and basically enabling you to use uh, real-time MIDI and OSC uh, sending OSC message from another app or actually you can also generate the OSC from this app and then sending it to other app like Blender or other apps that's using OSC. So it's pretty cool. Uh, here I, I, I just want to show it to you that's uh, let me check. We should be able to see the address somewhere here. Maybe I need to close this. Oh, we cannot really see the address but okay th there you go that's the address this is my I think my local address and this is the port uh, number that it's using um, in order for this to work we need to match it with uh, the one we set in blender um, here I'm setting the output port into the same number like uh, this uh, uh, Sonic Pi and the local address is correct so basically if I turn this on um, Blender will start to send OSC message to Sonic Pi so hopefully this works so now it's sending it and the thing that I need to do now is to enable this uh, this little program in Sonic Pi that's actually listening to the, uh, those message from Blender um, this is the, the language used here is uh, it's called Ruby um, but here I'm using this kind of live loop. Uh, Sonic Pi is really cool in the way that uh, you can actually um, use like a multiple threaded um, listener or like a sound sound making um, program. So now I believe it's already running and listening to Blender. And if I change the frame number in Blender, it should generate some sound unless I didn't set it up properly let me quickly check so I um, I think it's already running let me check it out again so it is running um, maybe I need to turn always on Mm. I'll try moving Susan around. Starting run if so there's a function live loop is running inside Sonic Pi. Let me stop it and try running it again. Check the preference. Uh, I need to turn this on. Receive remote OSC message. And there you go. Now it's correctly listening the message from Blender. Uh, the one, uh, what I set up um, at this moment is basically it's uh, playing a um, random number from this list. 
some of them is actually playing random number within certain frequency but in this simple setup I have three like a uh, listener functions inside Sonic Pi I call it just foo1 foo2 and foo3 and it is uh, listening to this address um, I think it's slash OSC slash hello play a B and C and the same setup we have here in blender um, based on the Susan head position it will generate uh, the sound so if I actually play this back so you can see a random uh, tune being generated what I really like about this um, OSC is uh, how real-time and interactive it is can be so you can see this is actually almost like blender playing the instruments um, programmatically so sometimes I do still feel like uh, there's a slight complications but for now actually um, OSC is um, OSC is one of the the easiest one can think of the like how to you set up two machines to talk to each other um, yeah I think in near future I mean you you should be able to control like using your smartphones you want to control your computer or you control like uh, other objects you know like uh, as long the object has some kind of um, uh, like a smart ability you should be able to listen and connect to your device very very easily in this case I, I'm using um, blender app talking talking to Sonic Pi you see this is the all this OSC message coming in into Sonic Pi um, and it's triggering all these uh, functions and command I have uh, three instruments pluck dalbell and beep and uh, there's like a, just a very small programs uh, like I said written in uh, Ruby for for Sonic Pi um, this app of course is um, you need to learn its own language but I found it to be um, somehow it's not too hard and it's actually nice to learn Sonic Pi like sound programming and then once you set up something like this uh, it's called live loop we can run this uh, of course this uh, live noting setup right here so I can speed it up I'm currently holding my iPhone while recording this and because this this might actually take a lot of uh, processing power so that's why I couldn't record it directly um, but yeah there we go this is uh, pretty much uh, an example and if I move Suzanne around you see how it, it is it is live and it's very interactive and then you can generate sound basically on a in this case using Susan Susan's uh, position and locations in 3d space to control the this random music and yeah but anyhow it's um, just an example I can make this uh, perhaps full screen let me try things uh, control Control up. Wait. Gotta... Full screen. Well, I think yeah, I think that's uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, pretty clear. Basically, if you manage to create the setup and make this going and happening between Blender and Sonic Pi, it's actually already pretty good and a good start. Um, and then and then later on you start to think how you want to set this up or what kind of sound you want to generate 
what frequency, uh, what value you want to pass in from Blender into Sonic Pi. And this is just like a super basic example, but you can do so much. You can even like control like uh, some kind of band or drum or and set the beat um, this way. This is slightly different from how I did it in the in the past when I actually using a uh, Python. This OSC one is probably gonna be um, less laggy and faster. Um, yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, live uh, demo of live noting using Blender and Sonic Pi to work together to generate sound. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.